world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hey Sagittarius, what's up baby? It is your girl Jalissa and I am here to do your reading, Bless. This reading is going to be between June 18th and July 18th, okay? This could be for your sun, moon, and or rising or any other placement as you see fit. So let's get it, let's go, let's connect. Bless. I got blueberries for you. I don't know what's up with these readings. <laughs> I was doing, um, I did Gemini through um, Scorpio yesterday and I kept picking up different foods. And then it's so funny because I'm getting blueberries for you. All right. So you should check out the spiritual meaning behind blueberries. Okay. So let me go ahead. What's wrong with this sticky note right here? It's all dirty. Uh-uh. Gotta get rid of that. All right, so <laughs> let me give you your angel number, and we're going to hop into this reading. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Sagittarius. Thank you. Bless. What is the angel number for Sagittarius here with me today? All right, we have two, four, six. All right, I'm going to put Sag, 246. All right, so this number could be significant. Notifications are confirmation, and we just got a notification for your angel number. So, babe, when you have a chance, go to your search engine, put in 246, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit. And if you can, do share, please. I love reading them. So does the collective. Now, guys, let me show you my babies real quick before we hop into this. Look at this. <laughs> is the retro for jordans yes and their manifestation candles say what so if you knew i have a spiritual shop okay and i make manifestation candles this one here is a personal intention so when you light it you're gonna pray over the candle to bring in that personal manifestation just for you and they smell delicious they come in a, v a variety of colors so you choose what you want when you're at my shop the link to my shop is listed down below right now i have a 40 percent off so take advantage guys this only happens once in a blue okay and it's right when i'm dropping my new sneaker candles okay so this one is like a size three in kids and this one's like a size seven in men's all right this th this one's like you know it's not that heavy but this one Oh, this is heavy, okay? Just so you know. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Guys, if you want a personal reading with me, um, there's limited slots available. That link is also listed down below. Most of my information is down below, guys. Mm-hmm. If you're new and this message resonates with you, bless, all right? Consider subscribing and hitting that bell, all right? Become part of the family, bless. My OGs, what's going on? 
All right, guys, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? This message may or may not resonate with you, and that is okay. Check out your other placements if so. All right, Spirit, talk to me. What's the message here today for Sagittarius between June 18th and July 18th? What's happening for Sag? All right, we have a transformation. Oh, I love this art. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's a chain that breaks, and it has all these birds. It's an explosion, okay? So it says here, reach out for the power and the strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Sag, we have the number 32 here. That could be significant. Okay, so there is big change happening. And you breaking some sort of change here during this transformation, Sag. June 18th to July 18th, it's going to be a big time for you, Sagittarius, because I just see you reaching your potential. I see you reaching within yourself to, like, release some sort of attachment, you heard that loud car back there? Gosh, I really don't like those cars. <laughs> All right. Maybe this is you you breaking a chain with someone that's really loud. All right. That's for some, not all. But it's something that is, disturb is disturbing your peace. You know, it's something that has been attached to you for a while, Sag. I just see you breaking free from it. All right. So for some of you, this may be a person. This may be an organization, this may be a group, this may be um an, an addiction. It's going to be different for all of you, Sag, but I definitely see whatever it is, it's been attached to you for a while and it's holding you down. So it's time for you to break free and I see you doing that. I see you transforming. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we got the lion, number 16. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently, okay? So during this time period, Sag, you're going to be in your, this is a Leo energy, okay? You may have Leo in your chart, all right? You're going to be in your lion energy where you're the king or the queen. Well, technically, yeah, the king, but it doesn't matter. We don't do sex here. We do energy. You're going to be the king, technically, of the jungle. You're reclaiming your space, you're reclaiming your role in your life where you're being loyal to yourself and you're protecting your aura. You're protecting yourself from whatever this chain is. All right. So it's something that has made you feel kind of down and out. Maybe this is something that's codependent of you, something that needs you or something that you felt like you may have needed. OK, it was an illusion. So I see you breaking free from the illusion. Like, you know what? Nah, I need to reclaim my power. I need to reclaim my role here in life. And this attachment, this codependency, it ain't it. OK, so I see you reaching this power during this space and time. Beautiful. I love it. Shout out to you, Sag. OK, let's go. <laughs> Spirit. What else is happening for Sagittarius during June 18th to July 18th? Thank you. I'm hearing Michael Jackson. Tell me if you want. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know the name of that song. Dun, 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 dun. Smooth criminal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm hearing that right now. I'm channeling it. All right. So somebody's a smooth criminal. All right. You're going to feel like a smooth criminal during this time and space. <laughs> all right. Maybe you have to like slide away from this because I'm looking at Michael Jackson doing the, the, the little slide. I forgot what it's called, but that little slide he does. Um, it's like a backwards, like, you don't see me, but I'm walking away. I'm doing it real slick. All right, so I just see you, Sagittarius, like, you and your vibe, all right? You're a smooth criminal during this time, and you're sliding away from a situation that just don't benefit you. Angel. Aw, I love it. You're being divinely guided. Look, you have angels around you, Sagittarius, divinely guiding you to detach from this attachment. OK, and if you need help, your angels are saying, Sag, we got you. All right. You're protected. There's no need to worry. I got you, baby. Just call upon me. Pray for pray for me. Pray for yourself. OK, for that protection. You don't have to worry. You a smooth criminal. All right. And pay attention to your dreams, Sagittarius, because I do see the angels giving you messages in your dreams. OK, they're giving you warnings. They're giving you um, premonitions. 
of what's to come, okay? And also pay attention to the signs because there's been a lot of signs around you cautioning you that you got to break free from some sort of situation, all right? Relocation, all right? Sagittarius, listen, some of you guys have possibly been looking to move or maybe you've been feeling uncomfortable in your current environment. Like I see during this space and time, either you are looking into a new place or you're moving into a new place. I see a change of home, Sag. Mm-hmm. During June 18th to July 18th, you are changing homes or you're changing your environment. I see you moving to a new location or making plans to go to a new location. And this could be because of work or this could be because of your comfortability because you got to detach from something. Okay. Pink diamond. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is going to be a rare opportunity for you, Saj. All right. You're going to have a rare opportunity to move away from a situation and take it. Seize the moment because there is obviously something you need to get away from or you need to detach from, whether that's family, work, love, or a personal matter, you know, whatever it is, Sag, to you, I'm seeing like you need to get away from a situation and you're going to have a rare opportunity to do this. All right. You're one of a kind, my love. You are. You are special. You are unique. And I see you finding a way to express this unique energy you have within you. The more you express yourself, Sagittarius, the more prosperity comes into your world. Some of you guys are going to have opportunity to um, embark on some sort of wealth venture all right this is like an opportunity to make some big money seize the moment okay and protect yourself because sag you got some people out here wearing masks okay you got some people out here sagittarius that send you that evil eye jealous of you you need to cleanse your energy and you need to protect your energy so i'm definitely suggesting i believe we have a new moon today i'm suggesting you to take a spiritual bath so you could cleanse your energy from that evil eye from all that negative energy people have been shooting your way because they jealous of you all right the reason they jealous of you is because you're the king queen of the jungle all right people see your power even if you don't acknowledge it or even if you do, people see your power, Sagittarius, and they jealous of it. So be careful. It's a warning. Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you listen to, honey, because not everybody's your friend and not everybody has your highest um, good and interest. You know, not everybody wants the best for you. And that's the truth. People want you to do good, Sag, but never better than them. OK, so they will steer you in the direction to destruction. And I see you picking up on that. Like, all right, now nah, this person has been playing with my mind. This person has been leading me down the wrong path. And look at where, it's, where it has gotten me. I need to leave. I need to move. I need to get away from these people or I need to get away from this situation because it's like the angels have been telling you it's time to go. It's time to change your vibration. It's time to change your, your people. I don't know. You need to make some changes here, Sagittarius. And apparently the people nearby are jealous. Okay, so let's get it. Let's see what else we got for you, baby. All right, Spirit, what else does Sagittarius need to know here today? Thank you. All right, Sag, so I just see you stepping up. Like, I see you stepping up and breaking free from some sort of chain. Somebody wanted to chain you down, lock you up. All right. Keep you stuck. Like, nah, that's not that's not your destiny. OK, it's not your destiny. We have the three of pentacles here in reverse. Let me get all the cards out here. But what I'm seeing is that some sort of cooperation ain't working. OK, so I'm seeing a group trying to work together, a collaboration. This would this. Oh, I can't even say it. That's how <laughs> this group, they try to work together to make something fall apart for you, Sag. Mm -hmm. It's a third party situation. It's a group. Three is a crowd, right? So I'm seeing some sort of third party situation not working out. Like you are very talented, Sagittarius. And I'm seeing like people did not want to see you get your recognition. People did not want to see you shine. People did not want to see you climb that ladder. So they were like blinding you or trying to trick you. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. They wanted to take your money or they wanted to take your stability is what I'm seeing here. Because the nine of pentacles upright, this is a person that's living in luxury that doesn't have a worry about their stability, that doesn't have a worry about money. But apparently some sort of group 
work together to try to create some sort of inconvenience for you. And it didn't work. It's not working out because you're waking up to the sabotage. You're waking up to the deception. All right. And this could be a work related situation because work is the first thing coming out. All right. So this could be work related, family related or love related. But I'm getting strongly here, Sagittarius. This could be coworkers or people you may have worked with in the past. I'm just seeing people trying to like, like, cover you from getting shine and trying to make things harder for you to make money okay so with the nine of pentacles here in reverse i see you working a lot sagittarius you may be working overtime or you may be working a lot maybe possibly to um distract your mind but definitely because you need some money all right because i'm seeing some some money matters here there's going to be a rare opportunity that comes in for you sagittarius seize the moment because you don't need to work this hard to get some money okay you ever heard that phrase work smart not hard that part you know it's all about strategy. And yes, it's good to put in that labor, but you don't need to put in all that labor the way you're doing it. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I see an argument here. All right, let me get all the cards out here so I could just like, you know. All right. Let, let me clarify this Three of Pentacles in Reverse Spirit. The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Look at all this. We got the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Now we got the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Sagittarius. This could even involve family. This is a family card right here. This could even involve an inheritance. All right? Some sort of money you were supposed to inherit. Um, Some sort of dilemmas here. This card also speaks about foreclosure. So th somebody out here. Not This is not for everybody, but this is for some. Somebody could be going through a situation right now with their stability because their home is in foreclosure or there's some sort of um, eviction or somebody's losing property. All right. But what I'm getting here is that um, something didn't work out, something that was supposed to be abundant, something that was supposed to like be a commitment to make a lot of money. It just ain't working out. It's not working out. This could be a relationship, all right? This could be a marriage not working out or a relationship not working out. I'm just seeing some sort of commitment not working out. For me, I see it as work-related, but it doesn't have to be, all right? Because all this money is all money-based, okay? Something, something did not, an investment did not work out, all right? We have the five of wands in reverse, clarifying the nine of pentacles. Yeah, I see you feeling like you want to get away from this drama you want to get away from this group that try to sabotage you all right this was definitely people working together to bring you down in one way or another and that's foul that's that jealousy what i said protect yourself sagittarius you got people nearby that are jealous of you jealous of what you may have had all right because it's coming off as had not have all right they may have been jealous of what you had and they try to sabotage you to lose more so that way you have to work really hard to be independent, okay? I see you dropping this crew. I see you dropping this drama. I see you dropping these people that wanted to fight with you. I just see you kind of like, nah, I don't got time for this. Mm -mm. You may be working to avoid these people or you may be working really hard to get out of this drama or get out of this environment is what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing financial setbacks, Sagittarius, and I'm seeing a lot of jealousy. Like, you're experiencing a lot of financial setbacks because of jealousy, okay? Talk to me about this Knight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're going to fight. I'm seeing it. Like, And it's not a physical fight. It's a mental fight. Look at this. You heard the bling, right? We just got a bling. The tower. Oh, my gosh. There's going to be a shocking revelation here. Something's coming to light. Something's coming to light. What's coming to light? You're taking a new path. All right, something's coming to light here. Now, let me move this so you see the cards better. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, um, hold on. Let me take this in. With the tower here, this is Mars. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I do feel very strongly like you're blowing something up. I feel like something's being brought to light about a third party situation. The three of cups being in reverse, three of, three of pentacles being in reverse. All right. But this is so you can have a new opportunity. This is beautiful. All right. So something is falling apart 
basically you're you're coming to your senses and you're seeing something for what it is these people wanted to have a chain on you sagittarius these people wanted to have you locked up or they wanted to have some sort of pull on you or they wanted to control you in one way or another and i'm seeing you not feeling it like you know what no i'm going in a new direction relocation so it could be a relocation or you just distancing yourself from these people but i see it and this is a rare opportunity the universe is showing you who's around you and how they operate and what they were doing so that you could make a move so you could see who's who and why they did what they did and it was out of pure jealousy i'm just getting a lot of jealousy here sagittarius they was really jealous of your commitment your connection or um, your stability. So they formulated some sort of like, I don't know, they did something here so petty. I'm going to clarify what it is they did here to try to stop you and stop your stability and your comfortability. Like they wanted, they didn't want to see you comfortable, Saj. All right. They didn't want to see you comfortable. They didn't want something to work out for you. So they got in the way. It's like, you know what I just saw right now? You know, when someone's running and someone sees like, like, like imagine somebody standing right here. Right. And someone's running. Right. This person right here, like, oh, I'll call you right back, sis. All right. So someone's standing here and you're running. Right. And this person sees that you're about to be running. They put their foot out so you could like fall. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm seeing. Like, someone saw you running for the finish line. Someone saw you running, like, to your success, to your comfortability, to your happiness. And this person was so jealous, they put their foot out so you could trip and fall and fall flat on the floor. Like, and it's like, whoa. Wh like, they thought they were going to be slick and you wasn't going to notice that they put their foot out. They thought that your eyes were straight to the finish line, but you're actually picking up everything around you as you're running. So you saw that foot they put out for you to fall and it's like oh word that's how it is oh okay i see you i see you now all right so they expose themselves and that's what i'm seeing during this time and space june 18th to the july 18th somebody's getting exposed mm -hmm. all right that they were working with other people to try to sabotage your stability your finances your happiness talk to me about this three of pentacles in reverse who are these people all right this could be a mother Okay, this could be a mother. This could be a baby murmur. You heard me, a baby murmur. <laughs> we have the magician in reverse. All of these cards are upright. This one flipped and went in reverse. The magician in reverse is dark magic. Some sort of mother out here was, or this could have been, oh, excuse me. Some sort of mother out here um, was doing some sort of dark magic. Doesn't have to be a mother. It could be a father figure. All right. This is a feminine energy, though. If this is a father figure, they're definitely very um, catty. OK, they're very feminine. Like, mm hmm. So, yeah, I don't do sex. I do energy. But I see somebody out here doing dark magic, Sagittarius, so that your work doesn't work out, so that your stability breaks, so that your commitment breaks your marriage. Oh, there's a confirmation right there. Who's that? Oh, oh, hold up, guys. Real quick. It's my son. I'll be right back. All right, Sag, I'm back. My son just put me on a mission to look for some scooter chargers. <laughs> All right, so this could involve children for some of y'all. Okay, but anywho, let's get it. Let's go. We got the four swords here at the back. So, yeah, back to who was um working here in this group. I want to see who else. I see you resting. I see you resting your heart, your body, and soul. All right, because it's gone through enough. Talk to me about this queen of pentacles. Remember, I do energy, not sex, so flip the roles if needed. And this magician in reverse, what's up with this? Why? Who, who else is a part of this? Because it's not just one person. I'm seeing it. It's a collaboration. The lovers. All right, so this could be a mother that, and the king of cups. All right, so there's four people here. Mm-hmm. There's a relationship here. There's a mother and there's this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This here is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we got Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I guess I needed to come out. Um, Yeah, somebody could have a tattoo on their arm. Somebody could have long hair, dreads, wear a bonnet or a bonnet. All right, somebody could have a beard mustache but i'm definitely getting here 
there's a union and this two folks it's like three people working together to try to make something work out here but it's nothing good like with the magician in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse i'm getting like a collaboration between three people to make a relationship or a commitment fall Mm -hmm. a masculine a feminine a masculine and two feminines work together or a masculine or two masculines and one feminine take it how it resonates so it was either two women and a man or two men and a woman working together for something not to work out here for you sag and it involves some sort of commitment relationship you heard the bling right yeah, I'm seeing a divorce. I'm seeing um, a separation here. I'm seeing if this is not love related, if this is work related, I'm seeing like someone losing money, a lot of it, losing a lot of money. You heard the chime. All right. Talk to me about this 10 of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Well, whatever happened here, it didn't work. All right. To a certain extent, but I see that they definitely like with the magician in reverse, this is dark magic. All right. So somebody was doing dark magic out here for a relationship. All right. Or to break a relationship. Yeah. You heard the bling. Somebody was doing dark magic out here for a relationship to break. And I'm getting like a mother energy, a lover energy, and then a masculine energy. We have the eight of pentacles with the six of pentacles. Yeah, like, I don't know why Sagittarius put it where it fits, but I see that whoever was collaborating for something to not work out for you is because they wanted to work with you and they wanted you to give them money. Okay, so it's like I'm going to take this person away from this area or from this position so that they're not given to this person. They're given to us or they're giving to me. This could even be a karmic trying to take someone away from their relationship is like that replacement energy like oh i like that relationship i like that marriage i like that connection i want to live that connection so i'm going to replace this person i'm going to steal this person and replace the person i don't know or this could be a position a job position where oh i like sad job i i you know what i want sad to work and i want it to benefit me or i want to take sad position like, I want to work that position. I want to I wanna get this money. There's some shady stuff here, man. <laughs> you heard the bling. This is shady. If it's a relationship, somebody wanted to steal somebody from a relationship because they wanted the relationship. If, if it's a work dynamic, somebody wanted to steal somebody's position or they wanted to use their money. They wanted, to, they wanted them to work for them and use their money. All right. Talk to me about this tower. Then we're going to the extended. We got the Knight of Wands and we got the Ten of Pentacles. Like, I'm telling you, this is family. I don't know what's going on here. All right. I just see somebody like Sag. When I'm getting here, Ace of Wands, there's a portal opening. Okay. Sag, I see you leaving a relationship to go towards another relationship or leaving a job to go towards another job. Put it where it resonates. This could be a relationship, a marriage, or a family or a work dynamic but i'm seeing it you're leaving one environment to go to another environment and look at the difference this ten of pentacles is in reverse meaning this is like mm -mm. this is home foreclosure people losing their homes people losing money people needy people needing you to work to give them money and over here this is you feeling like you're alive and having a beautiful, solid foundation. All right. So if it's family, I see you leaving a family for another family. If it's love, I see you leaving a, a, a love relationship for another one. If it's work, I see you leaving one job for another job. You know, like put it where it resonates. But I see you breaking free. Like you're breaking free from these people because you want to feel alive. And these people don't want you to feel alive. They want to use you or abuse you or take what's yours. Somebody's out here trying to take somebody. It's like a replacement. Somebody wanted to replace somebody's life and it didn't work out because it wasn't destiny. It wasn't meant to be that way. That's why we got the evil eye here. You see how we have the soulmate here in reverse. All right. Somebody was somebody's a karmic. 
a false soulmate, okay? Somebody thought that maybe, Sag, you were their soulmate, or you may have thought this was your soulmate. I don't know. But listen, protect yourself because you got a lot of jealousy around you. And there's answers that are coming that are going to show you what I'm talking about with this tower. Like very soon. This is a, the Knight of Wands is a very fast energy. Very quickly, a family dynamic is going to be exposed. And I see you going off for a new beginning. Like, you know what? This is what y'all was doing. This is what we doing. All right, I'm out. Deuces. OMG, let me give you a message, Sagittarius. And then we're going to take this to the extended because I'm going to talk more about this exposure. Like, what's being exposed? And what's going to happen in this new beginning? Because I see, like I said, there's a rare opportunity for you to either move, relocate, and have a very passionate new beginning. So... I want to talk more about that. Okay, we're going to do that in the extended. The link will be listed down below just for you, Sagittarius. Bless. All right. Spirit, what is the message for Sag? Trust the universe. Trust the universe, Sagittarius. The signs that you have been getting, heed to the call. Okay, because there's a family dynamic or some sort of organization or relation that's about to be exposed for the truth and the truth is they've been using some sort of manipulation some sort of dark magic to move things around and break things down for you no good you got blessings and abundance coming your way and that's what they were trying to block they were trying to block some sort of blessing they were trying to block abundance from your life sagittarius why because they wanted it they wanted to siphon your energy they wanted to siphon your blessings uh-uh this is this is uh-uh yeah protect yourself all right we're going off to the extended guys i hope to see you there link down below bless sagittarius if this is where we're parting ways i just want to say i love you thank you so much for being here with me today bless make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button if you haven't already and if you want to be part of my weekly raffle subscribe hit that bell button and comment down below i give away a free under the sea little mermaid tarot deck which i created and a manifestation candle out every week for the free to one random subscriber and that could be you so subscribe hit that bell button comment down below good luck to everyone and remember you got to be in it to win it sending everyone love light and everything nice bless and winners are always um announced on my community board at the beginning of the week so always check out to see if you are a winner bless i'll see you in the comments in the extended or the next one protect yourself sagittarius these people want to take everything from you because they jealous of you uh-uh